Today, I'm going to be showing some leaks for Episode 69 Part 2 in Toilet Tower Defense. So this is going to be a somewhat small update, definitely not as big as the New Year's Episode 69 Part 1 update, but there are going to be a few quality changes and some new units. But before I get into the leaks, subscribe with the notifications on and like, or else, you guessed it, the Christmas event is going to go upside down. So the first thing that is new, you can see the speaker helicopters are a little different. Now they actually have our Arms. Before the speaker helicopters did not have arms and they are repairing the Titan speaker man So if you remember there was the camera repair drone I don't really remember exactly what episode it was in but it was repairing like I think the Titan cameraman So now there is actually gonna be a speaker repair drone So we already have the camera repair drone in game basically how it works It gains energy every second and then it blasts like some blue healing electric thing which heals your unit when it's stunned and it can also insta kill the parasite toilet or helicopter parasite toilet by using a larger percent of its energy basically the speaker repair zone is going to be a lot different we had two options we could have either done something new or made it like the camera repair drone but maybe a little bit better maybe a little worse who knows but we've decided to make it the first movable healing unit so this unit will not have any limits to how much it can heal but it is movable so you kind of just gotta wait for it to walk over to your unit and its walk range will be quite a bit and of course it will go up as it's upgraded but we had multiple different suggestions like basically just making it a better camera repair drone or making it where it can only heal titans because here you see it healing that titan but i think if we made it where it could only heal titans that wouldn't be too useful because unless you use titans the whole match it would not be a good option for a healing unit because then like you just use the other ones so yeah i think a movable healing unit would probably be the best option to like give another choice for different strategies anyways let's move on to the next unit the upgraded titan cameraman has been the same in the game for a while now but he's had a few small changes not enough for us to make a new unit but enough that we should probably update him a bit so soon not too sure if this update or the next one hopefully this update will We'll make it where he has the jetpack and well of course one of his arms is gone but we're not gonna remove one of his arms we're gonna give him his hammer and he'll just have everything that he is supposed to have now and if you look here you can see the bat cameraman but this time he has two bats or wait why did i say bat cameraman bat speaker man that is a speaker but okay he has two bats and we already have the bat speaker man but he only has one bat so we're gonna add the dual bat speaker man as a legendary because it's gonna be a little bit better than the bat speaker man basically almost the same except i guess double the cooldown speed and a little more expensive to upgrade or well like half the cooldown speed i mean maybe even also some more damage because i mean he's gonna be a legendary and range everything in this update was kind of in the episode so the only unit that will be kind of kept secret is the upgraded titan caravan i guess we'll try to add it in this update but if not it'll probably be the update after this one also the update after this one is going to be endless mode so I'll let you know more about that later. Anyways, the next unit, there is a large cameraman that has some sort of laser gun and it looks pretty strong. That is a pretty big laser and is red. So here's what he's gonna look like in game. We already have a laser gun cameraman as an exclusive, but we do have a lot of other laser units as legendaries. So like there's the laser cameraman car and laser gun cameraman. So actually this kind of seems like just a better version of the laser laser gun cameraman but also like it's a large and the laser is a lot cooler and stuff so i think it would make sense to add as a mythic i don't want to add too many mythics though because right now we have like five event mythics and just four non-event mythics so i think it's time for another mythic the last one we added was the glitch cameraman that was not an event one and that came out like a while ago so i'm thinking since it's a minigun it will have a lot of damage but not insane range so this update will essentially be a few new units and some quality changes like i have a few ideas of how to make the units menu look better like one thing the distance between them vertically is different from the distance sideways which i don't really like we need to fix that and then on the trading menu i don't have anyone else in the server right now but when you go to the trade menu it's also different vertically and sideways and then this itself is pretty much the same 
same as when it first came out. Like, we haven't changed the unit icons at all inside the inventory. So I have a few ideas for that, too. And there's just a lot of things that can change. Now, we're probably gonna have the new trading plaza in this update. Because the guy that I had working on the trading plaza just finished today. The guy working on the new lobby is almost done. So that is going to be probably later. So all the fireworks on the trading plaza will probably be re-hidden. Now, the firework hunt is still going to exist, but the New Year's toilet is going to be replaced with 10 crates at the end. So that's if you get all 30 fireworks. And we're also probably going to make it where your account has to be maybe like two weeks old for that so that people can't just constantly make alts and farm 10 crates by finding all 30 fireworks. I mean, they'd still have to spend like an hour or two on all matches getting a certain waves, but uh... Then the Christmas event is still ending when people voted for in the Discord, so January 5th is when the Christmas event ends. There is still no timer above it, like I told Evan to add, but that will be added soon, and most people probably know about it. I've said it multiple times, and everyone in the Discord can see that January 5th was the most voted for, but yeah. That is gonna end in four days, and right now, there are 900,000 Titan President men and almost 8 million Santa TV men, so that is a lot more than I originally expected. Next event, I'm definitely making it 0.1%. Even if it was 0.1%, still almost 100,000 would exist, which is around how much of a god we should exist, because right now there are 140,000 upgraded Titan Cinema men. But those are older than this godly, so the release date of this update is probably gonna be hopefully January 3rd, if not, maybe the 4th and 5th, because there is gonna be a new trading plaza and some other things. None of the units are complicated to script because all of it's the exact same, and then the upgraded Titan Cameraman is probably gonna be the hardest to script because there are some new weapons, but I mean, we already have the script for the old one, so just a few things could be changed from the old one, and so hopefully Evan can finish that in a couple days, and then the GFX guy can get everything done within a couple days, and we'll just see when it all comes together. I'm not too sure how long exactly it will take, but again, most likely the third, fourth, or fifth. Hopefully the third. That's what I'm gonna try to aim for. And then the endless mode update is probably gonna be around, if I had to say, anywhere from the 10th to the 15th. Actually, definitely not the 15th, because I'm not gonna be able to do it on that day. So probably anywhere from the 10th to the 13th, actually. And that's pretty much everything for the leaks video. So as always, subscribe with the notifications on, like the video. But thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.